Hello. Today I'm going to show you what others haven't shown you. A SteelSeries 9H headphones cable and jack repair and modification to a 3.5mm 4 pole jack so that these headphones work again and can be used with any sound source. SteelSeries use a proprietary connector for their headphones, you can't find such a replacement USB look jack anywhere and you have to buy new headphones spending a lot of money. The other option, if you can wait for delivery, is to buy a SteelSeries aux cable, link is in the video description. But today I will show you how to fix the proprietary connector by installing a replacement 3.5mm 4 pole jack. For which you can also use an adapter, so that these headphones can also be used with older equipment that requires two 3.5mm jacks. A multimeter, some heat shrink tubing, various tools and a soldering kit will be useful for this mission. I hope you can find all this in your old granny's room, as I did. You will also need to find or buy a 3.5mm jack, link to it is in the video description. The first task is to cut off the damaged proprietary connector, then put the 3.5mm jack housing on the cable, but as the audio cable is quite small, you also need to put one heat shrink tubing on the cable. Stretch tubing wider with the pliers and put it on the cable. Then remove the cable outer rubber jacket, but very carefully so as not to damage the internal wires. Untwist the gold wires from the white wire, these gold wires are twist together into one gold color wire. The result is the following five wires, gold, red, green, blue and white. At the moment I have no idea which wire is for which audio channel. Then tin all the wires so they are easier to solder to the jack contacts and can be checked with a multimeter, as at the moment each of the wires is covered with a paint varnish and they are non-conductive. Then use a multimeter to find out which wires are for the speakers and microphone. Then make the wider cable clamp with pliers. Then twist together the gold and blue wires, as both are for ground signals. Then tin all 3.5mm jack contacts. This will make soldering the wire easier and the joint will be better quality. Then cut off the white mic wire as it needs to be very short and solder it to the correct jack contact. Then press the wire in with the jack clamp so that it is well fixed. If you have made it this far, then I give you a big congratulations and you will make it. Then measure how long you need to leave the green wire to solder it to the left jack contact. Tin the green wire, do the same with the red right channel wire. Pinch off the extra length of green wire and solder it to the left channel contact, do the same with the red right channel wire. When soldering, it is important that these contacts do not stick together, as there will be a short circuit and the headphones will not sound correctly. Then, check the length of ground wire, tin in the correct length. Pinch off the excess length and solder the last wire, which is the ground for mic and speakers. The result is the following soldered wires, mic, left, right and ground wires. The next step is to connect the headphones to the smartphone. And check if the music sounds, in the video description there are link to left and right channel test video. Then turn on the voice recorder and check that the headset microphone works too. Then take your grandmother's foot nail polish and cover all the contacts with it, then apply super glue to the clamp and wire. Then slide over the heat shrink tubing and attach it, this will give a very good hold and longer cable life. Apply super glue to all the contacts and the heat shrink tubing and screw the jack housing over the top, the glue inside will secure the housing and it will not unscrew. Then cut the heat shrink tubing a little longer than the jack itself, stretch it with a plier so wide that you can get it over the jack housing. Place the heat shrink tubing over the top of the jack and attach it, this will give a better look and double fixation of the cable. Here's the result. A repaired SteelSeries 9H gaming headsets that can now be used with smartphone, tablet and gaming consoles. And if you have an older device, you can use the 3.5mm splitter and connect headphones to other devices without any problems. I hope you found this SteelSeries headphone modification video useful and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video. Good luck.